Hey guys, Warchild V1 here, with some more Seven Days to Die. Alright, so I didn't do a whole lot of inventory management or anything like that during the night like I said I was going to. But, uh, I did, let me show you here in just a second. Well, I boiled some water, which I think I started doing on the last video. And uh, I blocked up these stairs a little more with some chairs and stuff that was sitting around. In fact, it might be smart to put some couch segments and stuff there. Um, <laughs> look at this. It is so dark in here. Dark and gloomy and kind of terrifying here. Um, I thought I had some fat on me, but apparently I was wrong, because I was going to try to make more torches, and looks like I just don't have the stuff for it. So let's go ahead and, uh, it's 647, I think that's morning enough, right? Go ahead and get out of here. And, uh, go see what this day has to offer. It's a beautiful morning here in Naviscane. Oh yeah, you can see the sun starting to come out. I'm not quite sure how that's attaching there, but it is. And you know, I'm not going to complain. Oh hell yeah, I just got a full pickaxe. Yep, so I figure what I'm going to do, I got an actual axe, an iron axe just now. That's pretty amazing. Another ammunition book. Already read it, so it is actually quite useless to me. Empty, yeah, I think I remember searching it. Okay. It sounds like we got zom zoms in this house. It'd be cool if I made enough noise at this door if they would just come and open it for me. Knock, knock, knock! Coming in! Here's Johnny! Yeah, I'll let these zombies open this stuff for me. Good job. Here's your treat. Here's your prize. Was it worth the prize now? You're the contestant on the prizes. Always wrong. So we got some more jars. Jars are always useful. I thought there was someone in my garage over here. Alright. So I really, really like the new lighting. Um, new lighting system is beautiful. Um, I'm happy it's not like it used to be in the game where... It's so funny. There's a door there, but they broke the wall. Yeah, the game when it first came out, basically, if it was dark in the house, then zombies run. Now, at least, it's if it's if it's nighttime, the zombies run. Daytime, you're fine. Put on these boots because these boots were made for walking. So that's just what they'll do. Damn, I would have been smart to bring the torch with me. Leather tanning. That's so. One thing I'm kind of in dire need of today is antibiotics. 
Um, in dire need, what I mean by that is I have 2.2 game days left until until I die. Or at least until the next stage. Does that kill me? Yeah, that's for inspection stage one. It just makes you even worse after that. But right now, basically, it's hard to keep your stamina. You're getting sick. You need to do something about it sort of deal. Hunting knife book. I could really care less about these trophies and stuff. I'll tell you, I really like it set better on very low zombie spawning because this isn't as ridiculous as like Garrett's run is. The book I already, I just got it really. Yeah, and his run is kind of ridiculous on how bad the zombie spawning is. This makes more sense. You come in a house, what, there were two zombies, one in the garage, or three, one in the garage and two in the house. That makes more sense, right? Not like super ridiculous. Oh, this could be fun, dude. I mean, as long as I make it. <laughs> It'll be fun either way, but... It'd be more fun if I survive. Survival games are one of my favorites, if you don't know that. Uh, I just love the survival genre. But, um... I also love, like, the Soul series games. That's really my favorite. You know, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, those games, they are freaking amazing. Can I take this sign with me? No. Damn it. Said old beer. That's funny. I'm gonna drop off this lead. I don't really need it. The hubcap I can keep. Don't need brass trophies. Currently, this one empty can is useless. Do I have anything to make more? No. I already know there's someone up here. God, it's so dark! If there's a chance that there's a bathroom in there, then I want in. Let's just break the wall, because it'll break easier usually than, than these wood planks. Ah, I wanted a medicine cabinet, but I really wanted. Oh shit! All right, just a sec. Let's put this on. Yeah, screw your stupid beanie. Take all of that. Green alcohol. Now I do hear zombies roaming around out there. Let's go see how bad it is. The lone survivor. Not like the badass Marcus Luttrell. Just that lone zombie. I mean, there's a couple more out there, but... Nothing that looks like a major threat. Let's 
Let's go ahead and eat this uh, can of soup real quick. This will help with hunger and thirst. Pickaxe our way in here, you know. Shit. Ammunition, hunting knife, forge. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. Oh, the hunting rifle book. Actually, I was kind of thinking earlier I would like to read that. Alright, um... One of the things that really sucks is we're gonna need... Either a bunch of nerf zombies or a medicine cabinet. Head bobber, he's hard to shoot, you know. Her, I'm not hitting her in the damn head. There. All right, I will admit the game is running tremendously better on this new engine. Um, this totally changes my gameplay experience. Dude, it's kind of dark. The pistol book, home maintenance. We want both. ditch a few items real quick that I know I grabbed purposely but they're just not gonna do me any good anytime really soon Pot is always good. Ammunition, hunting, neither are necessary currently. Oil is always good. Hey, look, pants. I can wear pants. Yay for pants. All right. Let's check the roof and then get the hell out of this little place. Absolutely nothing! Nothing! Alright, let's go. It's still very exciting and fun. I think this is going to be a really fun playthrough, especially since it's not ridiculously packed with zombies. Um, now, I turned them down purposely. Um, we can still get hordes of zombies. 
which is one way that they can still get me. Um, another way is dogs are really bad. And the third thing is, just because there's not a lot here doesn't mean that there's not a lot. Oh! Now I'm getting to where I actually have to press escape to get out of my menu. That happens after playing a while. The game seems to mess up. You know, you press I for inventory. I change it to tab, but you can usually press the same button to get back out. It doesn't matter if I press I or tab. It doesn't let me back out now. engine? Shit. I just got a small engine. Small engine. Like, I don't even want to put it back because I have a feeling that that could be useful. actually a shirt. I would like that shirt. Alright, this is just a waste. I need to get more feathers is what I need. Put on a damn shirt. Boy, what the hell is wrong with you? You are not a nurse, are you? Sorry, I have my sensitivity way up. If you, if you keep noticing, I keep looking way up. That's an accident. And I'm like, Wah! Yeah. I guess I could go fix that. I just haven't yet. Alright, let's find some bird's nests, because... Eight arrows is not going to cut it. And I need to get back in there and fix my Steam settings. I haven't played many games since I reloaded my computer last, and, uh... Ooh. And I don't like it when it tells me stuff about what friends are doing when I'm trying to play a game, you know? What can I ditch, damn it? Um, in case you're wondering, I'm digging, hoping for potassium nitrate. And not getting what I'm hoping for at all. If I can find that, then all I need is a beaker. And then I can make my own antibiotic. But it looks like they quit placing them. Yeah, they quit placing potassium nitrate in these rocks, which is really screw me. That's what that is. That's screw me. I just heard a deer that didn't sound too happy out there. Let's go get a tree or two real quick. God, I just can't believe that. <sighs> level up! I am now at level five. No potassium nitrate, though. 
Oh, now it can only be found in caves. I have my daughter behind me in case you're wondering how I magically found that out. An auger? The engine, the small engine, is to build your own auger, apparently. Are there caves in Navis game? Or are they only in random gen? Hopefully they added cave in Navis game if that's the only way that you can... Yeah. A 19 wood. I'm gonna go replant this pine seed closer to the house. I'm in a lot of trouble when it comes to antibiotics now. I wonder if they've added like a pharmacy to the game. That would be amazing. Dude, I can't run anymore. Yeah, I can. I was just out of stamina all the way. Alright. I'll just walk for a minute. That'll be nice. Shotgun barrel or paper? No, more like shotgun barrel or hubcap. Right? You gotta have your priorities. Where's a nurse at? Where's a nurse when you need one? Caves are only in random gen, and potassium nitrate is what I need to make antibiotics, so I, there's no making antibiotics unless you're playing random gen nowadays. They are chasing that pig. Alright, you have fun with that. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I forgot about that. You can go randomly mining and hope to actually get some. But God, you have to be able to make pickaxes to go mining, and I can't exactly make pickaxes, so... Hum. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm just gonna hope and pray for a nurse, I guess. I really need to unload my crap and then uh, then I can come back. I'm carrying way too much. Let's uh, get us a couple trees out here by home though. There we go. You gotta give back to the nature, you know? You can't just take, take, take. You gotta give everyone. Hello, home. I actually think I can build a shotgun. Just a second. Oh no, I have to have the pump. I can almost build a shotgun. 10 millimeter ammo, useless. Iron fragments, useless. At least right now, useless. It won't stay useless forever. Shovel, that's not useless.
There we go. Just gotta clear up some room sometime. And I can't complain about the amount of space they give you. They give you plenty of space. It's bad that I fill it up so fast. We're good for now. Let's get back out of here. I wonder if there are any shops or any stores that may have antibiotics. so dark I could barely see. I was thinking, I'm not sure if this is one I've been in. Yes, I have. There's the gore block to prove it. <laughs> what? Yep, yeah, I killed her while she was standing on railing. Look at all these gore blocks. That's pretty gross. Okay. Well, there's a little bit of time left in the day. Um, let's go hunt nurses. Here, nursey, 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 nursey. Yeah, here, boy. Yeah, here, boy. Or girl. Or here, lady. There's a nursey. Hey, baby. You want to, like, have a stick? She really had her mindset on that, uh, on that deer. Vitamin. Well, that can help with dysentery. Um, useful item, just not for right now. Yeah, I do really like this a lot more than uh, having the normal amount of zombie spawn. I mean, maybe I'm playing like a wuss, but I swear I hear water running. And if I do, that's kind of new. Maybe it's just weird sounds in this biome that I'm hearing. Right, you can't run. Let's drink some soup. So that was good. Oh shit, there's a barn. That is the infamous barn. Brings back horrible memories. Especially playing with Winchester and Ken. It's not the barn, it's the neighborhood. Oh! Oh! Oh, I didn't know that that was this close to my house. This is Deer... Uh, not Deersville, this is... Uh, I don't remember the name of the street now. Um, this is the street that Garrett calls the rich neighborhood. I wouldn't call them rich, uh, because I'm nowhere near rich and my house is bigger. <laughs> but still, um, they are the nicest houses in the game, I'd say. Nicest looking. Is it? 
Definitely not. Being hunted. Which I find kind of crazy because there's no one inside. Now I will admit this house has a much nicer bathroom than mine. <laughs> much nicer floors. I couldn't say the TV is much nicer, but... I will admit, there is a lot about this house that is very nice. No, 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 you were doing great. You could open the door, it's fine. You were doing great. Why didn't you just finish opening that? You would think from inside you could unlock the door, right? Like you could just be like, open. But no, of course not. Because that would make sense. Who would want to make sense? No. Are you kidding me? Every door inside the house is locked? Oh, no. Oh, I found the medicine cabinet. Oh, God. Max health and stamina just went down. Let's at least heal up what we do have, though. Alright, let's get back out of here. You know, they made it a lot creepier when you're in a house now. Oh shit, I need to get home. You're not a nurse, I don't care about you. Alright, I really need to head home. Because it will be dark soon, and the last thing I want is to be out here when it's dark. You are not a nurse. You are a naked man. No, you're not naked. Even better. Even better than a naked man. I'm not naked man. I know you're tired. So when you're just walking, I don't feel like I can outrun zombies really. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of distance on them, I guess. Oh, oh fuck me! What happened? I have a sprained leg, you douche. I didn't see that little ankle biter. Well, that'll slow me down. I wish I could walk at the same time. They need to add that to the game. You know, Dark Souls or Bloodborne or DayZ. You can walk while you're in your menu. And it's not like it takes that much thought to be able to walk in your menu. So it'd be really cool if they would make it where you could. That is definitely a feature I would use. Can you just like throw in? No, no, no. I'll eat it raw if I do that. I wish I could throw an egg. You're not a nurse. Yeah, throw an egg to get their attention. Wouldn't that be cool? Damn. Another failed attempt at a day of getting antibiotics. 
this life may not be that long. And hey guys, I cannot guarantee that I'm going to have a video up every day of this game. Because um, I'm also, at the same time that I'm playing this, I'm working on building my Bloodborne walkthrough that will start uploading here soon, as soon as the playthrough that's currently uploading is done. Then I'll have a video a day of a Bloodborne walkthrough, a full detailed walkthrough. Not just a cheesy little walkthrough that shows you how to beat it. I'm going to show you where everything is at. And that's cool. <laughs> uh, it's after beating the game eight times that that walkthrough is actually my ninth playthrough. My seventh character. Hey, you got to make it all confusing to get in the house or, or they'll just find their way in. Um, home sweet home. We are back. Torches don't burn out, do they? I sure hope they don't. Yep, that's definitely the refrigerator that I'm listening to here. Alright. Alright, stacks of 15. Get me some toilet water. Let's cook this toilet water. Until it doesn't taste like toilet water anymore. Five minutes. Alright, hold on. One thing I learned from someone a long time ago, I'm not sure if it's still true, is if you burn a frame, it actually lasts longer than nine pieces of wood. Alright, it gave me about two minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah? It lasts longer than nine pieces of wood, that's for sure. That's nice to know. Cool stuff, man, cool stuff. But what really sucks is I'm just... I don't feel like I'm gonna make it. Let's go ahead and make another fire. Yeah, I don't feel positive that I'm actually going to survive this time around. <gasps> no! No! Why did it even let me do that? I wanted to put it on the sink, but whatever. If it's here and it's going to let me use it. No, screw that. I'm going to destroy it. It's ugly. No! My house may be ugly, but my campfire will not be. Die, campfire, die! Ultimate zombie killing campfire tool. Wait, that didn't make sense. Zombie killing campfire tool. Campfire killing zombie tool? It makes a little more sense, I guess. There we go. Um, I had an idea for a second one. Now I already forgot it, but... Right, I can get some coffee brewing. No, I don't know. That is something I could do, though. Zombies, keep it down. I'm trying to sleep. They're just so loud down there. So rude. Reign of Kings. That's a game that I've been wanting to try. Alright, got our coffee brewing, got our water cooking, um, it is currently pretty much night time, but this will be an easy house to survive in, this is a house I used to survive in a long time ago, and look at the lighting, uh, the shadows that are being casted, this is so much cooler than the game used to look, um, I'm really liking the way the updates are looking, 
looks super gloomy outside, but yet I could still see. I wonder if the moon keeps it lit enough like that all night, or if that's just right now. Because I know going in a dark house can be pitch black, and I love that. Oh, I love that. It makes you wish that you had a flashlight on there. So how are we doing? We got like a whole day left, don't we? Time left, 1.7 game days until I start stage two of my infection, which probably starts off with dysentery and gets much worse, I don't know. Yeah. I don't care about the battery. I'm happy I haven't had to use the gun yet. That I am happy about. Can I make a shotgun stock yet? Or a pump more like? No, I can make a stock. But I haven't actually, uh... Yeah. I haven't gotten the stuff I, the book that I need to learn how to make a shotgun. It does require knowledge. Knowledge is power. Okay guys, knowledge is power. And you remember that, alright? So these tokens, Duke's tokens. Alright, give me the sword. Give me the stupid sword. If you have an empty hand equipped and you pick something up, I think it should automatically go to that empty hand. Just a little detail that would be nice. Hey, that's just my opinion though. Who cares what I think? I just like to play video games. What the hell did I do with my Duke tokens? I guess they'll go right here, but I thought I had another location. I'm gonna go put my vitamins in my vitamin cabinet. It'd be cool if they created textures of these that aren't shattered, so they're not all exactly the same. But I'm not picky enough to care that much about it. I just think that'd be kind of, you know, a cool addition. Alright, let's see if we could read in the dark real quick. Uh, no, I already, I already read the pistol book. Alright, so we have coffee now. You know, the important things in life, right? Especially when you have a modifier that takes away your stamina. <laughs> then it kind of really is the important things in life, right? I'm gonna lose my axe soon. Alright, let's go ahead and make a forge. Um, that's nothing that I was gonna jump all on, but it's actually getting to the point that I'm gonna need one soon. Hopefully there's a nurse out there tearing my house up. I would be honored to welcome her into my house. And you, sir, do not look like the nurse I was thinking of. Um, nurses aren't normally gray naked guys. Uh, at least not the kind of nurses I wanted to be here. Gray naked guys don't quite match the, the idea of a nurse to me. Alright guys, I'm going to end this video right here, and I will see you guys in the morning. I hope you guys are enjoying my new 7 Days to Die playthrough on Alpha 11.3. This is my first experience on Alpha 11, and so far, it's a good experience. So, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and sub if you haven't. And I will see you guys on the next video. So, thanks for watching.